everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and this channel is chronicling my journey of making the most of my life with multiple chronic illnesses. Today I just wanted to do a kind of life update. I've been back to work for three weeks now so I thought I would just share how things are going and part of it is better than I thought it was going to go and the other part is exactly how I thought it was going to go. So I am able to stay awake at work, which obviously is a good thing. Work has become more interactive. Instead of sitting, watching someone explain something or show how to do things on the computer, I am being able to converse with sort of a preceptor and talk about things and do things on my end. So that's been nice. But after work, no matter what time I finish for the day, I'm basically useless. I can't really do anything. I have no energy. And every afternoon or evening, again, depending on what time I finish, I will fall asleep here in this chair. Um, and that's happened every day after work. I have fallen asleep in the chair in the evenings. Um... There's also some ergonomic issues with my setup in my work office right now. The chair I am in does not have any arm rests and the way I have to hold my arm to move the mouse is really fatiguing my arm and just the chair is it doesn't have a high back so I'm unable to rest my head at all. A lot of times during the day when I'm in my home office, this room right here, um, this chair kind of has a higher back, so I will often slide down and rest my neck because my neck and back start hurting after I'm sitting up for a while. And yesterday after work, today is the 11th, so yesterday was Friday the 10th. I was in so much, well not so much pain, I was in pain very uncomfortable. I did end up going for a walk, which was nice. That's the first type of exercise I've done since like the first week of January. Um, so it was nice to just get out and take a walk. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. My heart rate was a lot higher than I was expecting and I had a lot more difficulty breathing. Like I just felt like it was harder to breathe. So that was very unexpected. I have theories as to what could be going on, but it's a moot point because nothing's gonna be done about it. I don't have any doctors right now here locally for that. So just trying to listen to my body in terms of that aspect of things. Um, I've been going to bed super early. I've been heading in the bedroom around eight or 8.30 in the evening. And then normally lights out, going to sleep around 9. So my evening routine once I'm in the bed is I normally will read a little. Right now I'm reading a book about dysautonomia. Sometimes I read on my, um, my tablet with the Kindle app, making sure the lighting, like I have it dark, the lighting so it's not all that light in my eyes right before bed. Um, so I read a little bit if I'm awake and alert enough to read, or if I am not, I will just turn on the meditation app to fall asleep. And the video I wanted to make for today was going over sort of the health metrics I use to track how I'm doing and how I'm sleeping, and just how I can actually finally correlate that with things I knew were working, but didn't really have any, like, evidence that they were working but I have not had the energy during the week to make that video and obviously sitting here blabbing is easier than actually making a video with images and recording my phone and stuff like that so hopefully this weekend I can pre-make videos like I had wanted to last weekend because I did not do that because during the week I am useless I have maybe an hour or two during the morning time before starting work where I can do some things. But normally I 
and running back and forth to the bathroom in the morning because I take a diuretic and I try to time when I take the diuretic depending on what time I am starting with my preceptor. So for example, on this coming Monday, I start with my preceptor at 8.30. So ideally, I wanna take my diuretic at like four in the morning, but I'm not going to set an alarm for four in the morning because sleep is more important. So mornings are a mess. Um, and evenings I'm useless, so the weekends are basically spent getting caught up with everything I didn't do during the week. Um, so that's a challenge for sure. Um, cooking is something I do on Sundays. If I do not cook on the weekends, I don't know what I would do for food because, again, I have no energy after work. Um, but this coming week, because of some health metrics, which I will make the video, guys, honest. Um, I need to transition back to lower carb, lower sodium. So I will be needing to cook because I will be having burgers more than likely. So we'll see how that goes this coming week. But it's definitely been a challenge just not having the energy to do anything during the week. I don't really run errands um, like sometime this weekend or next week I need to go to Costco to pick up a prescription and that's gonna be a mess just because Costco is always a mess I've only been there once but it was a mess and that was during the week um, so just adjusting to things like that but I will be off orientation the week of February 20th so I can make my own schedule from then on, which will be nice. Right now I am just working whenever my preceptor is working and wants me to be with them. So I am sort of at the mercy of their schedule and their plan for the day. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so it's been a struggle in a lot of areas. I was impressed that I am not having difficulty staying awake during the day. I am taking the modafinil, wearing the abdominal binder and the compression stockings and all that stuff, which I am positive is helping as is being active, like conversing during the day. But on the flip side, that is also making me exhausted in the evenings and falling asleep in my chair. So. It's give and take as I knew it would be, but let me check and make sure I touched on everything. Oh, with the ergonomic issues, I did order a chair that will be arriving Monday, unfortunately. I really wanted to buy a chair that was gonna arrive this weekend so I could put it together and have it be ready for Monday, but nothing I liked was gonna arrive this weekend, so I decided to just get the chair that I wanted, it will arrive on Monday, and I can either, if I have the energy on Monday, put it together, or spend Tuesday morning putting it together, I guess, but it will have a headrest, so I will be able to rest my head at work, which will hopefully um, help with my neck and shoulder and upper back pain, because right now, the plan is to use my Theracane this weekend to help with the pain because it is not pleasant at the moment and I don't want to spend all weekend in the chair like this because I will fall asleep. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video. I'm sorry it's on the longer side. Probably was rambling. Um, yeah, but I will talk to you guys next week, and hopefully I will record videos this weekend so I don't have to during the week. Bye, guys.